As I was sitting down to write out this Pact Friday review, I realized we might have been sitting on some big hints for PAX Day's Alpha 2, and now I'm really excited. Because we here at The Professional Gamer aren't keen on just sitting back and leaving stones unturned, join me as we try to uncover the gameplay focus for the next PAX Day Alpha. Hello and welcome back to all 1,270 plus of you avid consumers of PAX Day and PAX Day related content out there, and the nearly 60% of you who have not yet decided to hit that subscribe button. I'm Altari the Professional Gamer, and this is another PAX Friday Review, the show where we talk about all the fun, interesting, new, and exciting information that has dropped for PAX Day over the last week. If you're looking to stay up to date on all things PAX Day, consider joining us for the journey and subscribe. Firstly, and most importantly, this week the developers reiterated what will be the most important thing for all of you to do if you're looking to get into PAX Day's Alpha 2. And I quote, Linking your Discord account to your PAX Day account is a great way to boost your chances of getting selected for the upcoming test phase. All that you have to do for this is to go to account.playpaxday.com, log into your account, and make sure your Discord profile is linked. If it is, it should look something like this. <laughs> Additionally, the developers wanted to thank the community for all of the feedback on monetization and asked for people to continue their feedback and discussion on the official PAX Day Discord linked below. You're gonna be happy about it. Give me the cup. Oh! Ah! Now, I was never a good auger at Hogwarts, but just for the fun of it, let's finish our cups of tea and get to reading some tea leaves. And what I mean to say is, after looking over some of the screenshots from the holidays, as well as the most recent weekly update on Discord, seeing a silent addition of a new emote, I think Mainframe might be leaving us with a trail of crumbs here. So like any good Hansel or Gretel out there, let's go and get to following some crumbs. Let's start by taking a quick look at all of the screenshots. Too quick? All right, more slowly now. Did you see it? Okay, how about now? With our super professional enhancement abilities, you can see there is one character who keeps making an appearance in all of these screenshots. You might be saying, oh, Altari, that is just because it is the same developer taking a lot of these pictures and it's their character. No, I say, hey, one thing that I kept finding intriguing from all of these posts was the insistence of leaks in the images. For those of you new to the community, a not so inside joke turned discord emote of leaks is typically used by the devs when revealing a new or never before seen part of PAX Day. I glossed over this as I was drowning in my 11th glass of eggnog over the holidays, but I think there is something there. As you can see, the recurring character is always wearing some sort of trade person outfit, kind of similar to the then untextured blacksmith's outfit that was craftable in the last alpha. I believe this is a huge hint that crafting disciplines and potentially even the first iteration of player run economy are going to be featured in the upcoming PAX Day Alpha 2. I mean, just look at her. She's sitting behind a counter, potentially in her blacksmithing shop, just begging for me to come and buy something. Another thing that I notice in all of these leaks is how the focus seems to be on a singular village. All of the buildings look to be in the same location. In the back of this screenshot, it even looks like there is a church even. I believe this is a hint that the first iteration of village sash city mechanics will also be in the next alpha. Testing village mechanics would also make sense to coincide with the economy testing, as I would imagine they would be one of the many money sinks in the game too. Speaking of money sinks, and also our second to last divination of what is to come in Alpha 2 for PAX Day would also be church gameplay. Now, this one, I am sure many of you are in the process of frantically typing a comment, is definitely a stretch. But church gameplay would also be a good money sink for the first iteration of the economy. 
Additionally, relying on our extremely professional enhancement capabilities, you can see almost every character in the images is wearing a necklace with the emblem of the church. This character here with what might be a new diadem could even fit the bill for a priestess for this village. Two parts wishful thinking, one part logical professionalism, I know, but one can hope. Now, for the last and potentially one of the most unexpected clues for what we will be testing in PAX Days Alpha 2. But before we get to it, if you have enjoyed this video and want to continue to stay up to date on all things PAX Day, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and share with any of your friends who might also be interested in PAX Day. Okay, so this last clue we have been given goes against everything I have guessed for my 2024 predictions, but I found it exciting and curious nonetheless. It was an emote that was added to the official PAX Day Discord. No, not that one. This one. Ladies and gentlemen, consumers of all ages, that is an emote of a catapult. Or a trebuchet, according to the emote text. And the way it is being used is curious as well. Quote, gearing up for the next update? catapult emoji? But what does it mean? We thought that PvP and combat wouldn't be the focus for this alpha test, but I've been surprised by mainframe before. I think this ties back to possibly being the first city testing alpha. Maybe cities can be sieged? Not by players in the heartlands, because those are PvE only, but possibly NPCs? Or maybe players can siege other points of interest. Very exciting, to say the least. Just the fact that everything that has been mentioned in today's video are things that have already been confirmed on paper to be intended for the game is an exciting thing. Tell me what you think all of these leaks mean. Happy New Year. I am so pumped to see where 2024 takes this channel and all of us in PAX Day. Until next time, I'm Altari, the Professional Gamer. Thank you.